What is good, everyone? Welcome live to Vindication episode number 10. We are packed out here in the arena. We are just live out of sold out our third pay-per-view ever. Very successful show. And what incredible events took place. Our elite champion here on Vindication, the interim general manager, Kenny Omega, retained his championship versus Braun Strowman with the help of his Bullet Club brothers. What did you think of that, Brad? Oh, my God. Incredible match. Just like we knew it would be. Braun Strowman, of course, was pulled under the ring after the match by what we think was Kane, but we have not heard anything from Braun Strowman or Kane uh, since that happened at Sold Out. So we are just waiting for tonight's action, and we are ready to go. Oh my God, Brad Elias is here. Elias. What the hell? Elias is here on Vindication. I did not expect this at all. Kenny Omega mentioned in the meetings that we were going to have some new signees, but Elias has made his way to the blue brand. Today. That's right, you sing it loud and proud, ladies and gentlemen, today is Rusev Day. Oh my God, there's Drew McIntyre. Oh my God. He's attacking the brand new Iron Man champion, Rusev. Has Rusev won the championship from Drew McIntyre? Now he's taking it out oh. on Aiden English. Getting revenge from sold out Brad. Taking out his frustrations after Rusev captured his championship as Elias is just... Stole it from him. He's just looking on here as Drew McIntyre's going to attack. Oh, there's Cody there's Rhodes. Cody. Cody Rhodes is coming to attack Drew McIntyre. So it comes full circle now. All three men were battling for that Iron Man champion. Oh my God, Aiden English. He's got the championship. Cody Watch Rhodes... Out. Oh, he strikes him in the back of the skull. Aiden English with that Iron Man championship to the back of Cody Rhodes' skull. My God. And Rusev is making it back to his feet now as all hell's broken loose here at ringside. And Rusev is going to hold Drew McIntyre in position now. I think Aiden English is going for the execution. Oh, he's going for uh, the oh, oh, and he geez. drills Drew McIntyre. Oh, my God. I think Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes are both unconscious here. Tried to screw up Rusev Day. That's what happened. You get your ass kicked. Well, both men are down here, but Rusev better look out. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. He busted him over the head with that guitar. And Elias is now taking out. Oh, Ooh. my God. That guitar neck to the face. Guitar neck to the face of Aiden and Rusev. Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes are all laid to waste, Brad. Bodies everywhere. This is absolute madness to start our vindication episode number 10 as Elias disappears backstage. We got a damn concert room. Look at the carnage.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next we're going to see Adam Cole in singles action versus the revolutionary champion, Miz. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here, letting you guys know that our next pay-per-view is the Royal Rumble. Yes, the first ever Royal Rumble in MDT history. It's going to be 30-man. It's going to be epic sauce. 15 from Vindication, 15 from MDT Live. The winner will receive a trip to My Damn Nation and a championship match of their choice. What is good, everyone? Welcome back to Vindication episode number 10 as we are set for singles action. Making his way to the ring from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, accompanied by Marty Skrull. He is Mr. Money in the Bank, Adam Cole. Well, Brandon, sold out. We, of course, know that Adam Cole came to ringside for the Miz's Revolutionary Championship match with Kevin Owens. And after the matchup, we thought that the Miz was going to get inducted into Bullet Club after all that hard work on the Bullet Club initiation tour. But it was thwarted when Marty Skrull ended up being the new entrant into Bullet Club. And thus here, the Miz sets for revenge. And fed that man, that umbrella. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood. Well, of course, Brad, the Miz won his Revolutionary Championship. He retained it at Sold Out versus Kevin Owens in that championship match. The Hurricane was obviously the one who made that happen as he helped the Miz with a chair, a steel chair, took it to the back of Kevin Owens' skull when the referee's back was turned, and the Miz retained that Revolutionary Championship. We've got a ring full of cheaters is what we have. Well, right now we're going to see Adam Cole and the Miz go head-to-head -head here as the ref rings the bell, and we're set for action. As both men tie up here in the middle of the ring, both men going back and forth trying to get the upper hand here. Do you think Marty Skrull and the Hurricane are going to play a part in this matchup? Absolutely. You know it. You know it, Brad, as they're both outside the ring. As the Miz slips Whoa. over the top here, showing the athleticism of the Miz. You know, he's pretty underrated in that department. Not many think that he's too athletic here as he's taking it out on Adam Cole here with these knife edge <clears throat> chops right to the chest of Adam Cole. And you know he's got to be pissed off. Ooh. A second knife edge chop. Absolutely, Brad. You know, he... He was thwarted. He worked so hard. He was literally, I think he has the most wins in MBT history as he came into that matchup as he throws him across the ring here. And just to get his spot in the Bullet Club taken there by Marty Skrull. And now Adam Cole trying to get the upper hand here as he lands a shot and another shot to the spine there as Miz goes down. Marty Skrull looking on here from ringside with that Bullet Club money in the bank briefcase. We've yet to Ooh. see Adam Cole spend any of that money here as Adam Cole is just waylaying on the Miz here in the corner. A knife edge chop from Adam Cole. But Miz not taking it as oh, he, it here. he returns it with his own punch. Adam Cole back though. And another swing onto the Miz. As Miz is back up. Looks like we're going to get an Irish whip in the corner. Reversed, Reversed by the Miz. And a strong Irish whip at that. Oh, he's loading Whoa. him up. Oh, he loads him up onto the apron here. He's about slips off. Ooh, and a nice shot to the stomach there. But Oh, Adam Cole. Oh, no. Adam Cole take what is he he's like distracting the referee here Miz totally confused out on the apron and it looks like Marty Skrull is oh Marty Skrull oh look out oh and a shot with a briefcase to the back of the knee to tear that man's ACL as the Miz goes down and Adam Cole perfectly distracting the referee there and it looks like Adam Cole's got ideas here as he comes off the ropes he's looking oh, at a baseball slide and it knocks the Miz Ooh. square off the apron and of course the shenanigans by Marty Skrull. You knew it when he came in. His debut was shenanigans. It's the villain. And now look at the Hurricanes trying to tell the referee, you know, what's up. But the referee's not having it in. Oh, they're, just, they're just stomping the Miz out on the outside. And the Hurricane is completely helpless. As Miz the, needs a hero. He needs a hero, but the, the ref is thwarting it here. As he rolls him back into the ring here. We, we may see a cover here from Adam Cole as both men just assaulted the Miz. And the Miz powers out at two. He's very lucky. I mean, if that ref didn't turn back around, Marty Skrull and Adam Cole could have just totally punished him. Hey, this them, is man. the revolutionary champion we're talking about. Adam Cole trying to load. Oh! oh! A big DDT as the skull of the Miz is driven into the canvas. And Adam Cole looking for the cover, but the... Oh, oh there's Hurricane. The Hurricane distracting the referee, and the referee fed up with his garbage as... Oh, my God. We may see an ejection here as the referee. Oh, my God. Oh, he ejects no. Him. He's ejecting the Hurricane. The Hurricane really didn't do anything, Brad. 
The referee is totally confused here. He doesn't really know exactly what is happening. He thinks the hurricane is the evil one here. And the hurricane will be ejected from the matchup as he's going to have to make his way back to the side. And oh my What's God, going on? Marty Scroll sliding the money in the bank briefcase to Adam Cole. The referee's back. It's turned here as the Miz makes it back Look to out. his feet. Oh, and a strike. A strike with the money in the bank briefcase as Adam Cole slides it perfectly out of the way. The ref has no idea the cover. And damn it, does it. Adam Cole. Adam Cole pins the revolutionary champion and now. Adam Cole with a victory over The Miz. I mean, you gotta think he's in line for a revolutionary championship match very soon. Damn it. I hate to, I hate to say it, but you're right. The Miz completely laid to waste by the villain and Adam Cole once again. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys here telling you that if you are enjoying the show so far and you enjoyed Sold Out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an MDT Wrestling upload and you'll be updated for everything we post. Welcome back to Vindication Episode 10 as our general manager, Kenny Omega, comes to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the general manager of Vindication and the MDT Elite Champion. Kenny Omega! Well, Brad, it's here in the notes that Kenny Omega is making his way to the ring to talk about the Royal Rumble. What could he possibly have to say about our upcoming event? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, when we return, I will have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the newest member of Vindication, the phenomenal AJ Styles. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, letting you know that over at Ringside Collectibles, they are having a massive Black Friday deal, and you definitely want to go get in on it. Tons of great figures for very, very cheap. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save an additional 10% and go save some freaking money.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest at this time, the newest member of the Vindication roster, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ, I wanted to ask you a couple questions here tonight. Um, my first question being, you know, you came over here from MDT Live in a loss to CM Punk at Sold Out. Tell us how you're feeling after that epic clash with CM Punk. AJ, that's very interesting. That actually leads into my next question, which is what are your goals here on Vindication? Over on MDT Live, it seemed like you couldn't find an opportunity. You couldn't get that chance at the MDT Championship. What are your goals as you move over here to Vindication and a new start? Well, AJ, I wish you best of luck on your adventures, and I'm so happy to have you here over Vindication. Thank you so much for your time. And now I'm going to take it over to Brad, who is ringside for a special announcement by the Young Bucks. Thanks, Trey, and he is right. We are back here live at the Vindication ring, and we have these two giant tables covered in this nice blue felt. What could be under them, I have no idea, but I'm sure we're about to find out. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, tell him to get his ass over here. And ladies and gentlemen, I am back from my interview with AJ Styles. The Young Bucks, of course, defeated the Revival. They ended the 400-day reign of the Revival at Sold Out in an epic clash of the Titans. But now we're going to see what they have in store. And Brett, we have brand new MDT tag titles. Look oh at them. Oh my God, look at that strap. Those titles definitely look a lot better than the old ones, Brad. Absolutely. As Matt and Nick give the two sweet, what an epic super kick party here tonight. As, oh my God, it's the Revival. Oh my God. Scott Dawson and Dash Water. Come on, ruining the party. They're ruining the Super Kick party. And Dash and Dawson just going straight at both of these men. It's Scott Dawson Ooh. laying into Matt Jackson in the corner. Oh my God, they're crashing this party. We had beautiful tag titles. And they're coming to ruin the celebration. It's a big clothesline. Ooh. A massive clothesline sends Matt out near us, Brad. <laughs> my God. And oh my God, I think Dash Wilder's looking to... Oh, I think they're going to put Nick through the table. Oh, no. Oh, here it comes. 
Oh! And Nick comes crumbling through the table as Matt is trying to make it back to his feet. And Scott Dawson is now, oh my God, adding insult to injury as he dumps the old tag titles in the trash all over Nick Jackson. And he's just a pile of trash now. The Revival ruining the super kick party in celebration of brother Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks. This feud is not over. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys telling you to go follow our Instagram page at My Damn Toys. We always post epic custom WWE figures as well as every single thing that we post on YouTube is updated over there on Instagram. So you definitely want to go follow us over there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring from Queens, New York, weighing in at 223 pounds, Kurt Hawkins! Well, I guess this is what Kenny Omega meant by a debuting superstar Brad as Kurt Hawkins is in the ring. Well, Brent, who could possibly answer the open challenge here tonight? Oh, it's trash. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is trash. I, I mean, Barry Corbin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, my, uh, my partner here's favorite wrestler in the entire world is this man right here. Well, Brad, I'm going to be going for Kurt Hawkins on this one as Kurt Hawkins definitely has his work cut out for him. You know, they're, they're a good six inches in difference of height, so this should be a very interesting matchup as Trash tries to go one-on-one -on -one with Kurt Hawkins in Kurt Hawkins' debut here on Vindication. Oh, Ooh. Trash going right at Hawkins here as he lays him out right with a right hand, and he's picking him straight back up on his feet, and another yeah. strong right hand sends Kurt Hawkins flying out of the ring. My God, I don't think Kurt Hawkins stands a chance in Bless this matchup. Him. Trash Corbin looks on, and I think that guy has it right in the crowd there. It's nice Trash Corbin sign, and oh, oh my God, he's just planting Kurt Hawkins' face off the announce table. You gonna let him do that to our table? No, absolutely not, Brad. It's, Jesus. He is just assaulting Kurt Hawkins' face. He's finally done his trash. He's lucky he doesn't get disqualified with that one right there. Picking Kurt Hawkins back up. I mean, his body's already lifeless, Brad. Trash Corbin just... He's basically got an automatic entry into the Royal Rumble. Trash Corbin makes it back into the ring here. And it looks like he's going to continue the punishment. And, oh, uh, just, just look at the trash. Eyeballing him. Well, he's just, he's trying to show out to the crowd, Brad. I, I mean, this is just total nonsense. He literally has nothing to brag about here. He knows you're watching. Well, he's trying to call Oh, the quick roll oh, up! The quick roll up! And that's oh, it! Oh, my God! Kurt Hawkins! Kurt Hawkins upsets Trash Corbin! And that is exactly what Trash Corbin gets as the match is over just like that as Trash Corbin is absolutely stunned. Kurt Hawkins 1-0 in his debut and he's headed to the Royal Rumble. He's got a ticket to the Royal Rumble, absolutely Brad. Absolutely fantastic. What a turn of events here tonight as Trash Corbin is upset by Kurt Hawkins and he's moving on to the Royal Rumble.